Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Spy Update here. It is 5.30 Tuesday, March 4th. Just looking here at how we close today, market, market did exactly everything it's supposed to do. Actually, really, is just performing beautifully. And I know it's been hard for people to trade. I'm not going to say that it's not. I've done a good job calling it correctly, reading the gaps, and just the price action, which is constantly telling me that we are not coming in. All the negative news that happens, the things Obama talked today, yesterday was a thing about Russia. I mean, it's just not having any effect to the market at all. In fact, I think when the president was speaking today, I think it was this one bar or something. <laughs> it was like one red bar. And yesterday, when the, then there was some news out about Russia is when the market broke the low here for like several minutes, so that's it, and then rallied. So let's first, first, first look at the 15 minute. Let's do that. Let's go back from yesterday. So here was yesterday, nice long in the morning. Market held, really could have continued higher yesterday, but didn't do it. But the market was never short. Actually, let's pretend this didn't happen. Let's see there. Held very nicely here. And you can see in here again how, how strong we are. Market broke the low late, late in the morning. And it didn't really have any meaning or consequence, and it was immediately bought. So here's the break. It's happening right away. This is a 15-minute bar, and guess what? Boop. It was the next 15-minute bar. So the market broke the low right here at 11.45. It was gone by 12 o'clock. This is a bounce, a bounce, a hard bounce. So this isn't a real break. Do you see this here? Here it is. Do right again. And that was the end of the story, and then it rallied. So I called the market long, and actually, we could have made new highs yesterday in the close. We didn't do it, and so we gapped up today. There was a trader in the room, Ken. You know, he does a lot of his own things because he likes to go long a lot, and, and I prefer to short. Uh, but I, he hears me calling the longs, and he had a great overnight. He, he believed my call in the market to go higher, and he held overnight into the, into the, uh, into the morning and got paid as soon as he rolled out of bed today. And, and so the interesting thing is that, you know, if you see something happen ahead of time, sometimes you can do it overnight and actually get paid in the gap. Now, I'm not saying to do that because I play the live gap on the day, but I'm saying if you could read the chart to see and predict what the market or a stock is going to do ahead of time, you could trade like that. And that's exactly what Ken did. So it worked out really well. He was up money as soon as he rolled out of bed. And then it rallied here today. We made new highs. We just power trended it all day. I just I called the market earlier this morning. It was a long. We just I said hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And I actually said we could go all the way up to 189 today. Look at that. We 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 actually got up to 188. Wow. Really nice long in the market. So the long call though was on the one minute. And it was early in the day. And you could have piecemealed out of this. You didn't have to hold this all day. But I really told people to try to hold it as long as you can. And, and you could have held the market into the close. So here was the long. Stop under here. Buy in here. Hold. You could have taken some off in here. But I really was telling people to try to hold it. Because I knew we just were not going to come in. And I knew we were going to keep going all day. And the best entry was on the one. Like it always is. So for tomorrow... Actually, let's look what we're doing right now. I think we're gapping down a little. No, we're like regular. Uh, I For tomorrow, follow through. Continuation. Boom, that's it. Okay? I hope everybody knows here why you just can't short double tops or triple tops or quadruple tops. You can't short something that looks extended. None of that makes any sense. Okay? You play the trend. You play the trend. You take the best entry you can. If you're intraday, you have to find a strategy that works where you don't have to worry about the market. I uh, was emailing somebody today. You know, the bottom line is if you play a strategy that has nothing to do with the market, you don't have to get caught in this circumstance, which a lot of people have been caught in the last month, where the market has been too tough to trade, meaning it's it's been rallying and rallying and rallying. You can't short it, and you, you feel like you can't go long because you feel like it's extended, and you're preempting it coming in, but it didn't come in yet, and you don't know what to do, and guess what? It's going higher. So I trade gaps. Gaps work, and it doesn't matter what the market does. If the market's rallying, my gaps work. If the market's coming in, my gaps work. If I read the market long or short or read it right or wrong, it doesn't even matter. Gaps work if they're good, quality, professional, golden gaps. 
irregardless of the market. Now, you will be aware of the target issue if you're in something, meaning you're not going to look for dream targets, okay? But you still play the gap into the morning, into the open, the first half an hour, hour of the day. And that's what I did today in the MDR, but either way, uh, the, it's just, you know, to consistently make a living in something, I think you've got to have a strategy where you don't have to rely on the market for follow-through. And, and if you need the market for follow-through, then you only got one option. You better read the market right. You better read the market right every day and trade with it because most stocks actually trade with the market. Most stocks on any given day trade with the market. And, and most stocks actually don't have anything significant that they do on any given day for any momentum or follow through of the correct setups. So it's kind of one of these things where looking for a particular stock to trade, a different one every day in a gap, is really the key because it doesn't matter what the market does. You read the gap itself on its own. You play the stock on its own. I play a different stock every day. Sometimes I do a follow through, but it's usually a different one every day. And I'm reading the market and I'm calling the market. I'm seeing the market gaps. I'm aware of what the market's doing, but I'm in my particular trade. Market, there's, there's anything this does here, I said today, is higher tomorrow. Meaning if we had a small body green day, higher. Big body green day, higher. Little body green day, higher. Higher. <laughs> so I actually, unless the market gaps down like a thousand points tomorrow, higher. Okay, so look for follow through the market to, tomorrow. Three green bars, starting with this guy here. One, two, three. Boop, boop, boop. And I just don't know what time it sets up tomorrow. Today, you could have been aggressively long into the first 10 minutes of the day. Nice bullish gap, and we'll see where we go from here. And I actually, I mean, I really think 189 is realistic for tomorrow. I mean, I just don't ex exactly know how we're going to open and trade right into the open tomorrow until I see the gap. But definitely, definitely beautiful follow through we're going to see here into a rally. We're, we're due for a big fat green day. It could be, so it could stretch itself out into like two or three days, or it could be one fat one. I, I really think we might have one fat green day coming up soon, like a giant one. And maybe after that we pull in, or maybe we don't. I mean, you can't. <laughs> it's just really this market wants to keep going higher. The plays are following through to the upside with the market in stuff that's strong, and the stuff that's weak is selling off, and that's what you got to be out on the look for. So this is Melissa with the stockswoosh.com. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Have a great night. See you all tomorrow in the training room. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you'd like a trial of the training room. Or if you would like more information about the upcoming Golden Gap course this weekend, March 8th and 9th. Melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody.